Cafe in Phoenix, you know, we average about 300 days of sunshine a year. Living in our state, that can put you at a higher risk of getting skin cancer, though. Yeah, I want to let you know, May is Melanoma Awareness Month. ABC 15 looked into the data that shows more than 200,000 people could be diagnosed with skin cancer this year alone. Sadly, 8,000 are expected to die. Doctors say wearing sunscreen is one of the best ways to prevent it. Yeah, we've been talking about this in the newsroom, and as our Jamie Warren found out, there is a trend. It's online, and it is telling you otherwise. She's joining us live right now this morning from Phoenix, cutting through all the controversy and getting us answers so that we can protect ourselves. Good morning. Good morning, Kaylee and Nick. I'll be honest with you. I took this bottle of sunscreen out of my closet this morning. When I read the ingredients, I can't even pronounce half of this. So this movement online is called the anti sunscreen movement. It's on TikTok right now. People are claiming that the chemicals in this bottle are more likely to give you cancer than the sun itself. So I took those concerns to our ABC 15 health insider. I go to dermatologist two to three times a year and it's shocking if I don't get something cut off when I go. Chris McCorkle is showing us the scars on his head and face. A big scar right here. After suffering from low grade skin cancer, he says that's why he regularly puts on sunscreen to protect himself. I have a, a, a 12 year old son that I make sure I lather him up all the time. So hopefully he doesn't have to have the same amount of crap cut off of them that I am. But through the hashtag anti sunscreen movement, people online are claiming what's supposed to protect you is actually hurting you. One video states most sunscreens contain harmful chemicals known to cause cancer. I would say that's inaccurate. You compare the potential benefit of the sunscreen in terms of preventing skin cancer, um, then it's really a slam dunk that you want to use the sunscreen. Our ABC 15 health insider, Dr. Shad Mervosti, tells me some sunscreens may contain chemicals that have been associated with different conditions, but there's not enough research showing what the real cause is. Do you believe that the chemicals that are in some of these sunscreens can be harmful? I think there's still a question mark about that. The next claim? Sunscreen blocks vitamin D, which your body needs. But it's true, sunscreen definitely does block that. But then you start looking at other ways of getting vitamin D. He says instead of sitting outside in the sun without sunscreen to get vitamin D, try taking a vitamin D supplement instead. Another claim, use coconut oil instead of sunscreen. It's not a protective for our UVA and UVB um, rays. Dr. Shad also tells me that the worst time to be outside without sunscreen is from 10 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. Uh, the Mayo Clinic experts there, they actually recommend that you use a sunscreen that's at least 30 SPF. And hey, Jamie, we know that there are two primary types of sunscreens, mineral based and then those that contain chemicals. Do we know here if one is actually better than the other? So that is the big debate here uh, up for discussion. Dr. Shad tells me that if you are concerned about chemicals in your sunscreen, use mineral based sunscreen. He said he said that is really the safest option here. And I also wanted to mention this because the Environmental Working Group, they recently put out a study. They looked at 1700 different sunscreens. They found that one out of four are safe and effective. So only one out of four. And you can look up your sunscreen online. I did it this morning. I actually found that this sunscreen is considered to be in the hazard zone, which is kind of scary. So if you're interested in checking out what your sunscreen is rating on that website, we're working to put that on our homepage right now at abc15.com.